caves. I think they say it, Argadus, Argadus, caves. About an hour down from Pamploma. A bit like Pamplona, isn't it, where they do that in the streets. If there is something we need, it's a leap of faith. A step away from the comfort zone and be a little brave. So take a look around you. How far can you see? How far do you think you can run? Standing on your own knees. It's a beautiful world out there Just don't pass on the dare If you have the will and a moment to spare It's a beautiful world out there It's a beautiful world Guys, morning. Thanks for joining us day 15 The wonderful day 9th of August um, We're just coming back from obviously the, uh, the deserts of where the uh, Cowboy and West Film from Spaghetti Westlands, Tabernas Mountains, Tabernas Desert. We're just coming along the road here and heading back down towards the coast, then towards um, on shore yet, though. We're heading inland now and back up towards northern sort of Spain. Um, so we just carry on and see where it brings us. I hope you like the last one. It was uh, the Cowboy and Westlands and their reengagements. It's good, cool, isn't it? Gizzy got a bit frightened when them, them guns were going pop, pop, pop. And the horses, I don't even hear any barking. <laughs> but yeah, we'll take you along down uh, this road. It's a bit desolate, hardly any cars or anything. That's it, cut the way through. We're going through there, Let's cut it through. show you this how this is on the A33 so obviously coming from the coastal area of Mercia going up towards Valencia up through the middle of Spain look how desolate how it's what 38 degrees up here at the moment or on the on this flat here we've seen tumbleweed going across we've seen desolate houses it's obviously farming land but uh, yeah it's a bit bleak out here Old Spanish town, this is look right up in the hills. We are Ranja di Campe, but Campello Campabello. After 200 meters, take the second right. Wine country because we've just come through loads and loads of vineyards. To Pamplona. Long day today, about six and a half hours from where we were yesterday. In, um, um, obviously, where the country in Western come from. But we have a bit of a problem. And here, do my usual checks around, which I always do, just check everything around the tyres and everything. And we seem to have on the back tyre here, and I think you can see it here, cracking on the wheel. There, look. Can you see it? There. That's cracked. That there, look, there's a big crack in it. See it there? That's a big crack in it there. And also, a couple of places around here, there's another crack there and there. 
So that tyre, if I don't do something with it, is going to blow. Look at that one there. Crack there. So we've got a brand new Kumo. That's a Kumo. They're only not even two years old. And you see plenty of tread still on them, but that's a lot of weight on the back end all the time. But uh, I'm going to have to change it. Else it's going to have a blowout. At least that's a spare backup to get me home if I had to in the end. But if I don't change it, I feel that tomorrow is going to blow. You can see that crack there big time, can you? Look at that there. There's nothing on the inner wall. I've looked on the inner wall. Nothing on the inner wall. So I'm going to do it while it's cool in a minute, I think. Because come tomorrow morning, it'll be red off. And then I get plastered. Um, checked all the others. The others are all okay. They're all fine. That one's fine. This one's fine. I mean, all underneath, in, in, inside as well as outside. Because you don't just check around the outside for cracks. You also check on the inner walls. So you have to go underneath and check on the inner side. And there's no cracks on the, on the inside. With you. Oh, what three words where we are? As I say, it's a free park up. There's a McDonald's around the corner. Um, there's water. There's um, Elson Dump just down there. It's just coming up to just gone nine o'clock at night. Um, yeah, there's Elson. There's water. So I'll do that in the morning. I'm gonna go down the road. Just there, literally, is a McDonald's all gated in and free as you say <laughs> toilet dump right guys catch you tomorrow bye for now look quiet that is guys here we are in in uh, some vineyards in just outside Karenina not far out of Garazona is that Garazona whatever it's called lovely and quiet Where we are now, we're probably about an hour out of Zaragona. I say we pronounce it Zaragona, isn't it? Zaragona. Yeah. Just pulled over here. Little vineyard. Obviously, not like where we were down the south, where they were ripe and ready. Obviously, later in the year here. Fields and fields and fields of them will be going past. I'm in the shade here. It's lovely. Okay. It's warm, isn't it? Uh, what is it today? It's it's only about 32 up here. As we it's about 32 at the moment. It's meant to be about 35, 36. I think as we go north at the moment. It's nice in the it is. As you're going along, we're finding that, guys. In the daytime, it's with this sort of heat this time of year. You either need to be in a swimming pool or on the beach, literally in the sea and in and out, don't you? Yeah. Or moving along like we've been doing. We haven't even had no heat down for the showers. We've had a cold shower every yeah. day. Yeah, every day. And as you saw last night when I went round the tyres, I had to put that tyre on in the end. It was a brand new spare Kumo that I got in the back, which I uh, got before we came out here because the normal spare tyre was just a road, normal legal tyre. And as you saw, them cracks that were in the sidewall. So the front's totally okay. The front's not a problem at all. They obviously, don't take the weight the same. I noticed on the back here, on this one, there's not as bad as that other one was, nowhere near, but there's a couple of little, and they're only 18 months, two years old, if that. You can see plenty of tread on them, but there's a couple of little places doing the same around the side wall, so not a very brilliant tyre. I ain't going to trust that too much. So that one will be coming off when we get back. Put another new one on, or maybe go to... Uh, a different tyre completely, we'll have to see. Right, I think we're going to push on to some cave houses today, hopefully. Yep. The park up where we've looked at, there's cave houses or something in, actually by the side or some old cave houses, isn't there? Yep, yep. So, go so we'll catch you later. Yeah, go and check them out. Might be a bit cooler in cave houses, that's what they do, and that's why they, they did them. I'm camping in there. <laughs> Bye, see you later. <laughs> Any wine connoisseurs know that uh, wine make? Seems to be quite big in this region. That's the second place that we've just come across saying that on their buildings, the big buildings. Mm -hmm. I'm sure we'll find loads more. Look at all these vineyards. Loads of drunken nights here. <laughs> <laughs> if you like wine. Just been going for about Loads. five or six miles, and it's just both sides of the road. Just these um, 
grapes. Grapes. <laughs> grape after grape after grape. If you have a bit like this, which they must be obviously for harvesting and what have you, then you'll run back into more vineyards. Both sides of the road. I don't know whether you can see that, the camera won't pick it up, but with our eyes, that long, long straight, there's a blue haze, the heat is just gleaming off it, you probably can't see it, but yeah, there's a blue haze of a hot heat coming off the, the tarmac, you might see it now, look, as the van comes around there, it's long straights. Well, I think Andy's found his shower for tonight. Water sprinklers! Can't believe it! <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Blip, blip. Kids, you've got to come here, mate. <laughs> He's on his lead. You're doing good if you hold him through it, though. <laughs> <laughs> go on, see if he'll go in it. Take his, in. Just take his metal lead off. Come here. I'll cool you down. So Giz, as a rule, loves water sprinklers, but not sure whether he'll enjoy a forced one. Oh, Giz! <laughs> Walk through it then. <laughs> Walk back that way. <laughs> Gizzy! <laughs> oh, that's nice and refreshing. Are you nice and wet now? I'm having a shower now. <laughs> anyway, guys, now Andy's all nice and clean. We're caves, look, some caves. Yes, this is why we've come here. It's we'll caves, which, when it's cooled down a lot, we're going to walk around that later. They're, they're caves theoretically. Yeah. But for now, I'm cooling down, me and Gizzy. <laughs> you see, those fans weren't on when we first got here and I was sat there chilling, literally. And I heard this noise and this water started coming over me. It was funny. Right, I'll leave you two to have a shower then. <laughs> Bye guys. Bye guys. Troglodyte caves. I think they say it, Argodus, Argodus, caves, about an hour down from Pamploma. Pamploma. So these are the troglodyte caves known as. Troglodyte. troglodyte. That's what we call you sometimes. <laughs> troglodyte. Graveyards, they always look after their drug graveyards, don't they? And this is the air, oh, what three words it? Obviously this is the free air, free air again for the night. Quite a few here now. It's been a hot day again today, hasn't it? It's still 37 now, but we had to, the sun's gone in. We had to drown ourselves, well, like me and Gizzy had drowned ourselves with that uh, when the, the um, sprinkler started. And Claire went around the side of the van went and opened the... Yeah, but you drowned me a little bit first. Drowned you first. <laughs> Sprayed me with the shower head With the shower head outside. Oh, it's still so much better, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I've still got the same on, and, and I feel so I much better. I still feel better. like I've wet myself. Yeah, but then you did, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter because no one did. <laughs> So here's the caves. We're going to have a wonder. I don't know what you can or can't see of them. They used to, people used to live in them, no doubt. Or they did. <laughs> we were just saying, guys, that uh, it was used actually up to the 1960s. Um, Home to different generations in the village until the 1960s. Which is crazy, isn't it? We're going to open and have a look in a minute, but if you go onto that barcode there, and I'll try and put a still picture of it on it on the next clip now. It gives you a 360 view. It'll give you a 360 view of what it's like inside. Oh, guys. Looks like you can go in them. This is going inside one of the cave houses then. Well, so much cooler in here, isn't it? Straight away, come in here. You can feel the coolness straight away. That's it, Wow. 
Let's sleep up here tonight. <laughs> No, but how cool, how sort of cool it feels in here. Put your hand out here by this window, guys. You can feel the heat here now, I can feel that heat. But as soon as you come back in here, that's why they were cave houses, warm in the winter time and cool in the, in the summer. They just cut way back into the mountain and made rooms of them. That's why they're whitewashed. like a pantry for all their bits and pieces and that goes even further back oh, well that's how they would have cut it out by the looks of it let me just change the camera on to hdr hopefully you can see a bit better now yeah wow god it feels nice and cool in here Silhouette there. I wonder if this is where they used to shower or something because it looks like oh, all cooking. Shower. Mm -hmm. I think they got cold so they have their It's a fire, yeah. Crazy. And that'd been their pantry. Yeah. Inside another one. Each one you go on to, is a bit, I should imagine each time you go on to them, it'll be a virtual tour of in here, wouldn't it? Yeah. Of this, what it was like, like back then. You gonna try it with your phone? It's a bit worrying propping the roof up, isn't it? Crazy, isn't it? You go all the way back in. That'd be nice and cooler than at night, wouldn't it, innit? We just clicked onto one of them. It's obviously the people that used to live here, interviews with them, but it's all in Spanish. Look at that. That looks like it's collapsed down or something, doesn't it? That. Still got the door, this one, look <laughs> Wow. This is quite big inside, this one is, look guys. So you got into here, this is all dark. To another little room, which you can't even see inside. Put something just that little bit there. Crazy to think they used to live in these. Why do people still do? Another big room. Kitchen. Kitchen area. Living area. Nice and pink. To another. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. That was something different, wasn't it? Oh, it's so good. You wouldn't believe how big they are Definitely inside. Worth a visit. Yeah, come here. As I say, I've already got three words in, so you'll be able to find the location and obviously the beginning of I put down the uh, and the name of the place where it is. But you can't get over how they've just cut out into the mountainside, which is where they call cave houses, aren't they? But inside, they've like, been so luxurious. Like a mansion, you just said. Yeah, like mansions, they just keep going on and on. They could have made them what they wanted to, I suppose. Bigger families, just dig a bit more into the back into the mountain. And if the I moved to Spain, I'd live in one of them. In a cave house. I've always said cave houses are good. 
Okay, it's so fresh in there. Uh, some of the areas you've seen them probably before. There's loads of them on YouTube. Cave houses, and especially in Spain here. We've got some in um, Kimber and the likes of, haven't we? In, in the Kimber, West. It's yeah. A national, it's a national trust. national trust. Yeah, and that's all cave houses and that. But they're not like that, though, are they? They are no. the same sort of thing. I wouldn't want to. These are so much bigger when you go inside. These are, yeah. These seem and really big. They've been lived in since 1960s. 60s. So but obviously, a lot of this is eroded, eroded away, and they would have been all them as well. Would have been all. I, I see even got a number on that. Is it 59 or 39? <laughs> even got door numbers on them. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's got. Can't see 59. I think that says. So what even had the doors? Oh, some of them are probably big. They're two stories high. Some of them. Why did the postman get up there? <laughs> Let's have a bit of a wander down here. Crazy, yeah, they've, it's all eroded away, they're in banks from it now. All blocked up. I suppose obviously as stuff's been developed like down here and what have you, they've just cut away. But a lot of it is, is they have rainfalls and what have you, it seems to have carved its way down, a lot of it. They've even got drain holes and everything, look. This is down in the little village of now. Little village houses. All the shutters down. People inside because we've just seen somebody one of the others come out. That's obviously to keep the cooling. Keep the heat out. Bit like Pamplona, isn't it, where they do that in the streets. That's something a bit different, isn't it? Running of the bulls, obviously tradition they do here as well. Like caves, caves, and ended up seeing bulls. Bars, don't they? Oh. Live. We're going down here, guys. We're going down here. Yeah, running of the bulls like they do in Pamplona, but it's yeah. our local, obviously tradition here as well. Yeah. yeah.